hold on, hold on, I can do this. Talk a lot longer, not cutting, because then I can be like this and it's a little more, we'll figure it out. This is the last project I did at uh, Elizabeth D. introducing Ryan McNamara, and I basically put up my entire life, starting from baby photos to the most recent project I'd done at the time. I would just walk up to them, say, hi, my name is Ryan. How much time do you have? This one uh, is the Make Ryan a Dancer. Um, so it's the first dance class I ever took in my life. There's about 300 people watching. The best male ballet dancer in the world. Look at that, it's like this insane, there, I mean he's known throughout the world for that curve right there. Like your hip socket has 360 degree movement with, from his hip sockets. I do not, I do not have those feet. So. This image of these two disembodied heads being found in the middle of the forest, singing duets to each other, kind of like love songs, because benefits also remind me so much of bad weddings. We were in the ground for three hours, and it was you know, about 95 degrees. That's actually a funny image. Now it kind of looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> he said, hey, this is a one time the actors uh, can live in reality, so uh, I let them relish in it. And I like this idea that uh, Jack Smith's reality is the real reality. And people really have said to me, you know, I don't know what you did. Did you pipe drugs into there? Because I feel like I don't even know how I acted that way. Whitney Houston Biennial. Five Whitney docents. She learned saving all my love. Low tech karaoke. piece called Production, actually a commission uh, for uh, the Louis Vuitton store. 40 dancers snaking through the entire store, licked the bag until it was completely covered in saliva. Performance is inherently subversive in that the presenting institution cannot guarantee what's gonna happen. What was you know, supposed to be this sort of pristine, perfect, luxury brand performance got really body fluidy. So this is from a video I made called Trains, Boats and Planes, Amputated Lip Syncing. That's kind of nice. The hand is gonna be touching his cheek. So this little guy here is uh, from the piece, the finale, which was the f end of my five month uh, time of learning how to be a dancer at PS1. And it was almost like a choreography of the audience, bodies being thrown around it, throwing you around and just sort of rolling around. <laughs> Minute musical, Klaus von Nixagen, Klaus von Nixagen, Klaus von Nixagen Gallery, Creation Myth musical. I know this man, Klaus von Nixagen. This guy um, was a contestant in a dance contest I held in Buenos Aires. This entire dance floor full of 150 people all start like melting on top of each other and rolling all over each other. <laughs> So this is a project I did, a piece called Move On Up. Someone who just wants to be really good dancer on the dance floor, but he can't because he might be dead. So this, <laughs> this is my mom. 
uh, in a blue leotard with pink tights and said, hi, I'm Ryan's mom. Nice to meet you guys. Um, as if nothing was strange. Long title. Sacred Band of Thebes, AKA in memory of Robert Isabel, AKA any fag could do that. The Sacred Band was actually a elite force of the Thebian army, um, made up exclusively of male lovers, the idea being the army of lovers uh, from Socrates, that if you loved the person that was fighting, um, you would fight harder. One of the people that saw the performance said one thing that will never be uh, translated to a secondary audience is the smell of 40 men in one room exerting all of that. So it was like an insane sort of beyond locker room. From gold and clothes and beautiful boys and young men. This is uh, from another video I made called The Latest in Blood and Guts. I sort of play, it's in a black and white, and I play this um, character who's really trying hard to be a variety show host. It's completely silent. He kind of goes through this body panic where his body starts sort of pulling itself apart. Oh, <laughs> oh,